Did you know that during the filming of the iconic 1970s Wonder Woman TV series, Linda Carter's outfit kept falling off her body? In the world of television, wardrobe malfunctions can make for some hilarious outtakes, but for the actors involved, they can be a real nuisance. And when you're the star of a hit TV series playing an iconic superheroine like Wonder Woman, the last thing you need is a costume that won't stay put. Linda Carter, an actress of immense talent and beauty, was the woman behind the tiara in the late 70s. She was the embodiment of Wonder Woman, a character known for her strength, courage, and of course her distinctive outfit. Carter's portrayal of the Amazonian princess was nothing short of iconic, and she remains a symbol of female empowerment to this day. However, during the production of the series, Carter faced an unexpected challenge. Her costume kept falling off. Picture this. You're in the middle of a dramatic scene, about to deliver a powerful line and suddenly, your outfit decides it's time for a break. It's not exactly the ideal scenario for a professional actress on a tight shooting schedule. The issue was not just a minor wardrobe malfunction, it was a recurring problem that threatened to disrupt the filming process. The production team had to deal with the unexpected hiccup, all while ensuring that the authenticity and integrity of the Wonder Woman character were preserved. Wardrobe malfunctions might seem trivial, but in the world of TV production, they're a serious business. A costume that doesn't fit properly can not only affect an actor's performance but also disrupt the entire shooting process. It's a challenge that requires immediate attention and ingenious solutions. So how did the production team manage this sartorial setback? How did they ensure that Linda Carter could continue to portray Wonder Woman without any wardrobe worries? Well, that's a tale worth telling. Stick around to find out how the production team dealt with this unexpected wardrobe malfunction. The Wonder Woman costume was designed to be a symbol of strength and femininity but nobody expected it to be a constant nuisance. Wonder Woman's iconic outfit is a blend of Greek mythology and American patriotism, a testament to her unique origin story. The red, blue, and gold ensemble was designed to embody strength, courage, and beauty. It was meant to be powerful, yet feminine, a perfect representation of the Amazon princess herself. However, the costume's design was not without its challenges. The outfit's strapless bodice and high-cut shorts were made from satin, a material chosen for its vibrant color and sheen. But satin is not known for its durability or flexibility. Its delicate nature made it ill-suited for the physical demands of the role. Every high kick, every stunt put the costume's integrity at risk. Another issue was the fit. The costume was designed to be form-fitting, accentuating Linda Carter's physique. But this design choice, coupled with the satin material, made the costume prone to slipping and sliding. It was like trying to keep a silk scarf in place during a windstorm. Moreover, the physical demands of playing Wonder Woman were immense. The role required Linda to perform a myriad of stunts, from running and jumping to complex fight choreography. Each movement, each action scene was a test of the costume's endurance. As a result, the costume was in a constant state of near disaster. It became a game of tug of war between Linda Carter and her outfit, with the actress constantly having to adjust and readjust the costume between takes. This was not just inconvenient, but it also disrupted the filming process causing delays and frustration. The costume was a symbol, a beacon of strength and femininity. But its design and material choices made it a consistent problem on set, a nuisance that threatened to overshadow the character it was meant to represent. Now that we understand the problem, let's explore how it was resolved. You might be wondering how such a significant problem was solved without compromising the iconic look of Wonder Woman. Well, it was a combined effort of creativity, innovation, and a fair bit of trial and error. The costume designers, determined to keep the integrity of the outfit, came up with ingenious solutions to the problem. One clever approach was the use of body adhesive. This special glue helped keep the costume adhered to Linda Carter's body, reducing the risk of wardrobe malfunctions during dynamic scenes. Another solution was the strategic use of hidden straps and fastenings. These were cleverly concealed within the design of the costume, maintaining the seamless look of Wonder Woman's attire while ensuring it stayed in place. The impact of these solutions was significant. On the production side, scenes could be filmed more smoothly, with fewer interruptions due to costume mishaps. This efficiency certainly saved time and resources contributing to the overall success of the series. But it wasn't just the production that benefited. For Linda Carter, these adaptations meant she could focus on her performance without worrying about wardrobe malfunctions. She was free to embody the strength and grace of Wonder Woman, 
adding depth to the role and resonating with audiences worldwide. With the costume issues resolved, Carter was able to fully inhabit her character, bringing to life the Wonder Woman that we know and love today. She could perform action sequences with confidence, knowing her outfit was secure. This freedom allowed her to deliver a more powerful and convincing performance, making the character truly come alive. However, these solutions weren't without their drawbacks. The use of body adhesive, while effective, was not always comfortable. Similarly, the hidden straps and fastenings, though necessary, could sometimes be restrictive. Carter had to navigate these challenges while delivering her performance, a testament to her dedication and professionalism. The solutions were effective, but they came with their own set of challenges. Yet they allowed for the creation of a television icon, a symbol of female empowerment and strength, the indomitable Wonder Woman. The costume issues didn't stop Linda Carter from delivering a memorable performance as Wonder Woman. In fact, it could be argued that these wardrobe malfunctions added a layer of authenticity to her portrayal. She was not just a superhero, but a woman dealing with real-world issues, albeit in this case, a costume that didn't want to stay put. Her experience filming the series was undoubtedly shaped by these costume challenges. It's easy to imagine the frustration, the quick fixes between takes, the laughter, at the absurdity of it all. Yet, it's also clear that Carter handled these issues with grace and humor. She didn't let a faulty costume stop her from stepping into the boots of a character who would become a symbol of female empowerment. The legacy of Linda Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman is a testament to her resilience and commitment to the role. She embraced the character and her problematic costume, and in doing so, created a Wonder Woman who was not just powerful and heroic, but also relatable and human. The costume issues have become a part of this legacy. They're often brought up in interviews and discussions about the series, serving as a reminder of the challenges faced during production. But they also highlight Carter's dedication to her role. She didn't let a wardrobe malfunction get in the way of bringing Wonder Woman to life. Moreover, these costume issues have added a touch of humor and nostalgia to the series. Fans often share anecdotes and behind-the-scenes stories about the infamous costume. These stories have become a part of Wonder Woman lore, adding another layer to the rich tapestry of the character's history. Despite the costume issues, Linda Carter's Wonder Woman remains an iconic figure in pop culture. Her portrayal of the character, complete with a misbehaving costume, is remembered fondly by fans around the world. It's a testament to her talent and dedication that even a wardrobe malfunction could not diminish the power and impact of her Wonder Woman. So what can we learn from the story of Linda Carter's Wonder Woman costume, you ask? Well, quite a lot actually. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've been on and what it tells us. First off, we delved into the unbelievable wardrobe malfunction. Remember the constant struggle Linda Carter faced with a costume that just wouldn't stay put? Yet. She soldiered on, her determination never wavering. This shows us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, persistence and a can-do attitude can see us through. Then we explored the costume design challenge. The designers were tasked with creating an outfit that was not only visually striking, but also practical for action scenes. It was a delicate balancing act demonstrating that sometimes we have to make tough choices and prioritize what's most important. We moved on to the solution and its impact. The modifications to the costume, as simple as they may have seemed, had a profound effect. They allowed Linda to perform her role without the constant worry of a wardrobe malfunction. This teaches us that sometimes the simplest solutions can be the most effective. It's a reminder that we should always be open to change, adaptable in the face of new challenges. Finally, we discuss the aftermath and legacy. Despite the initial issues, Linda Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman has left an indelible mark on pop culture. Her resilience and adaptability in dealing with the costume issues have become part of her legacy as Wonder Woman. It's a testament to the power of resilience and the ability to turn adversity into an advantage. No matter how many times her costume fell off, Linda Carter stood tall as Wonder Woman, proving that a true hero can overcome any obstacle. Let's remember this lesson from Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, that it's not the costume that makes the hero, but the person within.